All right, this is a beautiful typewriter we have for sale today. Uh, or if you just are interested in these and you're just checking out YouTube, this is a Remington Noiseless model number seven. Super good condition. Uh, none of the, I guess, lettering are messed up, which is kind of rare. That's like super fly. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see the camera. Uh, yeah, super nice. Uh, this thing is just a straight up beast. Uh, very, very cool typewriter as a whole. It has a completely different feel than a typical typewriter since it's the noiseless. Uh, this is to basically set up your paper. Here is the return. This is what you need to uh, you use this whenever you're putting it in the case, which it does come with the case, to set it in place. That's like the spot that it's supposed to be like whenever it's in the case. But then I think you just push it up whenever it's, how does that work? I don't know. That's the spot it's supposed to be whenever it's in the case. But to get it out, you just use this. This is the carriage release here. There's also one back here on this side. Uh, here is the line spacing. This is now, it's like one or two or three. Sounds like there's one, two, three. So it looks like one, two, three. So I'm gonna go back up to one. Uh, this is ha has a really nice one where the ribbon shows on the outside. This is your ribbon color, black, stencil, red. They all do work. Black, red, stencil. So stencil means to where that doesn't have any kind of whatever on it. Uh, this is in a great condition. All around, super good condition. What else? I don't know where the, what's it called? The Oh, there's the, ah, just what I was looking for. So this number, it looks like, is going to be the, what's it called? The inventory number or the model number? Not model number, excuse me. I don't know what the word is. H85124. Not sure what year this was born, anything like that. These are also paper holders to do the holders. It's got the margin release. So if you're at the very end of the page and you need to go further, just hit this and it'll let you go further. Uh, it does have, the tab does seem to work on it. How do you set the tabs? Tab, I've got the tab here. Uh, I don't know where to set the tabs. I assume it's probably just on the back somewhere. So here's the, I don't know, on the tabs. Oh, I think the tabs, here's the tabs. I think it's these little guys. But unfortunately, there's only one of them. I don't know on this how to set the tabs, to be honest. So I think it's this thing. Yeah, it's these little guys, which there is another one in the case so I think it comes with two pretty sure that's gonna be the tab so let's see how that works uh, if it tabs into the middle yep sure enough I'm always afraid to tab for some reason I never use tabs but whatever that, that's that uh, what else so let's type on this thing all around a great great typewriter uh, this is the paper release right here so if you need to feed it in if it goes in crooked, you can just push this back, move it around, pull it forward. I kind of don't want to get rid of this typewriter, but then again, I don't want to get rid of any of them. So at some point I just have to do it. What else? All right, so let's start typing. I'm gonna go ahead. Here's the, uh, uh, excuse me, the shift, and then shift lock is right there. I think that's about it. I don't see any other stuff that I need to showcase. Everything works on this, I believe. I think, yeah, I didn't think there was anything that didn't work. So this ribbon is kind of old, but it still will work for this purpose. Uh, so just so you know, you'll probably need a new ribbon at some point, which I'm, just goes in here. Uh, anyways, okay, let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. There's no one key on this. I think you just have to use like a lowercase L and a period or yeah, something of that sort. I've got to hit the that. Okay. <coughs> I 
Now our caps. And do some red too, or never mind. Red, I don't have a red ribbon, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, it looks and works great. It does need a new ribbon, like I said. If nobody buys this, I'll probably just keep it and put a new ribbon in it because it's super cool. The feel of these is completely different than a regular typewriter because of it's just a different. I don't know how to explain it, but a normal one, it's way more clacky. I mean, this is supposed to be the noiseless. But uh, I don't know if I like it or not. I've never really used one much. I'm not a very great typer, so I prefer electric. So yep, that is the Remington Noiseless. Uh, oh, these also hold the paper down, which I don't know if I showed that or not. Super cool. Interesting thing. Pretty great machine. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, there you go. Boom.